Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. This is my second video to demonstrate how to connect Salesforce SOAP API integration using Java. So in the previous video, we saw that how to how to build a connectivity between Salesforce and Java using SOAP API. In this video, we'll be going to see how to perform the DML operations using SOAP API from Java on Salesforce object. So in this example, we'll be going to see that how to create sample lead records on lead object using Java, how to query the records, how to perform the update operation and how to perform the delete operations. So we have already built connectivity in the previous example. So let's have a look. So this is the previous example where we have built the connectivity. So I've already demonstrated that how to how to build a connection between uh, Java and Salesforce. So I have added a couple of more libraries like query result, save result, delete result, and connection exception. Then we define the username password. In the main function, we test the connectivity. And after, a, after we perform all the DML operations, including the query, create, update, and delete, we simply close the connection. We logged out from the connection. Just release the connection. So the very first function is query lead. In this querying lead, we would be querying the first or the five newest leads. So we write, we write a SQL query, select ID, first name, last name, order by created date, in descending order and we set the limit as 5. And we validate if so this will be validating this would be the uh, this the result will be calculated the result will be extracted based on the connection dot query and the connection is the connection we we configured with the uh, using soap API's credentials. and it will display the result. So that's the first operation. So lead L query result dot get record and we display get ID name, last name and company name. In order to create leads, we would like to create the five test leads. So I initialize, uh, I initialize an array of record types of lead types, basically initialize a record array of lead types and initialize it as five. I run a loop and we set the SOAP API lead one, lead two and so on in continuation of it would be displaying the first name, last name and the company name. And finally, we save the results using the connection dot create method. And to check the return result for any error, we would be validating because as all of you know that whenever we create a new record or insert a new record into uh, Salesforce, it generate leads. So we would be extracting the IDs of it and we display the ID over here. So it would be display, it, it would be display the record ID, the save record ID. And if any error occur, it will display the error. For updation, record updation, we would be updating the five new test leads we have created. So again, we query first of all the five created leads, the recent five created leads and we perform the operation we updated and simply I just update the last name and set it as updated. So the first name will remain same as it is the first name will remain same SOAP API but the last name will change instead of lead one, lead two, lead three and so on it will be it will change to updated. And finally we save the record and again we extract the we run the same operations to validate whether the record has been updated successfully update the record has been successfully updated or not. And to delete records, we want to delete the two new test leads. So for this, I would be querying the result and uh, I would be extracting the we would be extracting the two new leads. We set the limit as two and the two latest leads we extracted and we would be deleting those leads. And finally, we display the result whether the record has been deleted successfully or not. Let's test this result. So I'll switch to SRC, right click 
and uh, run as Java application. OK, and it will run all the operations together. And you can see we are getting this success message. So that's the result. So let's understand it first of all. So that's the same thing we did in previous session. First of all, we based on this username ID, the session ID has been created. So we display a message connected successfully. Then we would be querying the five newest leads. So these are the five newest leads. It would be displaying the ID name and company name. Then we would be creating the five test leads. So the five test leads have been created. So let's go and check whether leads are created or not. So I switch to Salesforce and refresh it. So five leads will be created and out of five, two will be deleted. So it the process will be running. So first it creates the five leads. Then it updates the five leads and you can see that the name has been updated. SOAP API updated, SOAP API updated, lead 0, 1, 2 and 3, 4 record has been removed. And finally it will delete the two leads. So these are the ID of the records. We can go and check into recycle bin the two new leads which is deleted just now. So these are the two leads which is deleted. So if I undelete them, we can go back to leads and I will just validate the IDs, the records which is which get deleted. So the ID of this record is 00QFS402. So that record was deleted. S4OTUA0. So this was the record deleted. That was the record number four and that was the record number three. So you can see the operation has been completed successfully. The record has been inserted and finally the record has been deleted successfully from the leads. So that's how we can perform. That's how we can perform the DML operation from within Java using SOAP API, which would be perform operations on Salesforce object. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bispsolutions.com. You can post your comment in comment box. The code for this example will be attached. You can find out the code as a in the below link in the comment box. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.